I'm one of the online judges on Joro's page. Yes. Joro's page is one of my safe places to go, especially when life gets really boring and lonely. On there, you see a couple of people posting things and you're like, are these people really humans? Or they are from the other breeds, you know, the animal kingdom. Yes. Yeah, so someone brought to our notice that 15 days after getting married to the boo of her life, she found out that the boo, the lover, was actually cheating on her. Now I scrolled down and I saw a couple of comments. <laughs> and that's the reality on social media. But you know the truth? Most people still keep intense emotions locked up with their exes, even after marriage. In the first few years of their marriages, are we ready to have this conversation? Someone needs to say this. Let's break some paper. Hi, me loves. What's up, people? Welcome to my channel. If you're just tuning in and seeing this beautiful face for the first time, my name is Ada Adetunji. I am a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. On here, we talk about lifestyles and pretty much every, every, every. So go through the channel. You see a couple of contents you would like. Hit on any of them, watch, watch, watch. But do not forget to hit on the subscribe button and on the notification bell so that you get the videos as soon as they drop. And to my all time fave, guys, thank you so much for the support. Okay, so you all know that a few days ago happened to be a baby girl's birthday. And I'm here to unbox some of my gifts. But I mean, it will really be boring if we don't do a little why we're unboxing this. So the gist today is centered around partners that still keep emotional relationship with their exes even after marriages so guys this lady's case is not a fairy tale things are happening it keeps happening it would have happened to yourself without knowing there could have been exceptions to this though number one exception is there was no courts yes maybe because he didn't catch your partner the few first days of your marriage but it is up number two is the god factor people who literally would say okay i've ended things with you I don't want to hurt my partner just because of God. There's always a God factor. Number three are people who are ordinarily principled. Yes, we're no longer together. We're no longer having an emotional affair. End of discussion. People who literally would create boundaries for all their relationships. These are the exceptions. Aside these three things I mentioned, guys, it they up and is real. And no matter how we want to sugarcoat things, wrong is wrong. No matter the reason you want to bring up that would make you keep an emotional affair, emotional relationship with your ex, it is lame. Okay, so guys, truth be told, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's very easy to cut off or severe any ties with your ex, who obviously would have loved so much. But then you left them and you got married to someone else. That could have been a reason why you left them. I think you should hold on to that reason why you left your ex. Yes, I won't forget that most people leave their exes because they're medically not compatible. Maybe their ears and the other guy is heirs, and you know the outcome of it, and they don't want to go through that land. But you left her. My dad said I shouldn't marry a Yoruba man, and my papa said I shouldn't marry some lady from Igbo, uh, from Imo state, or whatever, cultural differences. And you left her. Okay, okay, okay. So your parents say you shouldn't marry her, yeah? And the same parents do not tell you that the person you left, you should not be knocking at. Or when, whatever reason you want to bring up is lame. I think you should focus more on making your partner happy than jumping from one pant or one trouser to another. Okay, so let me talk to my gender. Your ex that you've loved up, you guys were booing, eventually left you for someone else who could be better or not even better than you are. I could understand the genotype thing. For some other reasons, I wouldn't know. And I don't know the excuses or the brainwashing words or whatever lines they used to get you back. To open your two left legs and you call it love someone disrespected you dumped you moved on came back and you bought their reasons and they are still disrespecting you where is your brain in your anus on your hand madam think it is not love it is high time you left somebody's husband alone and allow them build their family in peace if the guy no get sense if your ex no get sense at least you should have sense now. Once beaten, why shy? Shine your eye. You're not getting back at them. You're just being completely stupid. And that's on period. 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 Okay, so let me talk to this other gender from the descendants of Adam. Some lady left you maybe because they found another good mind. 
someone who obviously was ready to marry them or had more money than you had got married years later they now remembered you were shining their wikus their congo better than their husbands yeah and they crept back into your life at the time you were married and you feel your brainless self should allow them disrespect you the second time and hurt someone who you're going to do any forever and a day with your wife your present wife that is not love uncle you are being stupid and you're throwing the trust your wife has for you on the floor for some lady who disrespected you years ago to trample on guys get sense now okay so bottom line what do to others what you don't want to be done to you it is a simple rule to a relationship okay so most people do this to their partners most men do it most ladies do it it is a norm and i can sit here today because i've worn that shoe before and it is painful you all should stop already i mean it takes a lot of discipline it takes a lot of principle to ask yourself this thing I'm doing to this lady, this thing I'm doing to this guy. If she does the same, if he does the same, can I take it? Stop. Guys, let's stop all this mushy, 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 mushy talk. For hope you got my point, yeah? It is time to review the gift. Okay, so guys, let's start with the very first gift I got for my birthday. All the way from PH, from my Paddy in Kem Daberechi. Guys i love this gift so so much i love it i love it this is how it is this is how it rolls it has my picture as it is spinning the pictures with the showing the front pictures you can see this this is really really classy so it works with um both battery i can use a battery in here and i can use um i can plug it to the electric so i'm going to leave this thing on here for now my dad really is in love with that he was asking to take him home but then i can give it to him this is my gift thank you so much Padimi. this is a special shout out to you you are a girl so, um i got some alerts something huge from two of my friends yes i feel mana thank you so much the money was actually huge thanks to you thanks to my bobo god bless you both for me i also got from jen oleru thank you so much babe she sent me money to get wine for myself thank you thank you thank you so at this point i had lost my video thank you so much lady empress god bless you for your gift i love you who else noticed i've got a piercing yes i have a birthday piercing i got one in dubai and zadi got this gold for me for my ear he actually got a couple of gold for me i have this this was from him too but i think it was two years ago now he got this for me and this earring and i don't know if that's my birthday gift though, because he hasn't given me any birthday gifts and he's saying he took me to dubai hmm. i don't want to go to dubai again you better come and give me birthday gift i don't go again i don't want to go to dubai come and give me birthday gift zaji whoever that knows him and knows his name should tell him that i don't want to go to dubai again he should come and give me my birthday okay gift. so ladies and gentlemen this is why we're here on this birthday i promise it was going to be about me about the baby girl so i got a couple of things for myself starting with this luxury designer baby you you baby this is really classy this is really sweet look at you're wondering what this could be yeah Okay, so guys, so you all see this. I promised myself a luxury hair. So I got this hair from Suzilicious Empire. She draws on um, luxury human hair. So all my hair, all shades of color, length is from Suzilicious. She also draws on shoes, bag, clothes, jewelry. She forgot to put perfume. Yeah, some of my perfumes also come from her. Look at it. Look at how it comes. Sealed, trusted from her. Let me unbox it. I'm coming, guys. Guys, you all see this. You all see this. With all my goodies. So, that is what you get when you shop from Susie. You get the no, best of the best. 
in here so you all see me rocking this very 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 soon very very soon guys so this is all i have if you're yet to subscribe already subscribe no 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 oh bye guys you say Ada, please help me open it. I can never. I can. Check what's in pack. You go for that. Man, chop a muscle. Chop a muscle. I'm going to be a very funny. Let's let ten and nine long posts. I'm going to be a very funny. No, we are good. Do you want? No, we are just a funny. Don't put as much as you put for yourself. No, I'll I'll dilute it. No, it's not that you dilute it. Don't put as much as you put for yourself. Are you starting now? I'm going to get it. I'm going to get Mm -hmm. Big tire, so you let her fast.